to keep that body from a side down. I just want this bit to come off. No, that's not coming. Come on. Give me an edge. It's not coming. You little bastard. I don't know what to do on that. Let's try this bit. I'll get back on itself. Oh, there we go. See? Nice shot line. And that's what I'm after. Now I have to really wait for that to properly harden. Uh, otherwise, it's going to be issues. Um, yeah, wow. Once it's really hard, so I reckon I'm actually probably going to leave this for 24 hours. I'm tempted to even put it in the airing cupboard and stuff for that period of time. Don't know if that will help, but just try and get that really dry and hard before I um do something about that. Man, <laughs> I'm fucking stoked. I'm really stoked. That could have gone so fucking wrong. Awesome. Awesome! Right. Magic wibbly wobbly. Okay, with the uh, red paint now fully dry, um, I've cleaned up this. It hasn't come up very well, so I'm a bit concerned about this, but every time uh, I try and clean it. it, it just doesn't do what I want it to do. Um, so I'm hoping that actually the silver will uh, um, be okay on that. Um, yeah, we'll have to see. It's a shame. I can't do any better though, I'm afraid. Uh, not without the risk of damaging the paintwork. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go on with the uh, silver paintwork now. Okay, so I've waited 15 minutes, giving the uh, silver a chance to dry off on the first coat. Now time for a second coat. For the final coat. Right, well that's where the paintwork eased up. Could let that dry. Then I can put some clear coat over that, um, which will harden up and protect it. And then it's done. Then all I need to do is put the bordering on it and a couple of extra bits of plastic on the back here to bring it out away from the cable that on the seat release so that can go behind here um, without being interfered with. And then mount it and hopefully reveal it to you guys. I did actually get confirmation today from Fowlers that my decals are turning up. So when they arrive, I'll be able to put them on the bike. And if I put this on the bike as well, then cosmetically, I think that will be the bike finished. Mechanically, though, I'm still waiting for the fuel pump. <laughs> And I've not had confirmation from that one. Uh, I'm not expecting that for another two weeks. And my track day is in, yep, yeah, about two weeks. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, panicking a bit about that. Right, let's make magic happen and uh, wibbly wobbly wibbly wobbly. Okay, so the silver's now dry. Uh, I'm going for two part clear coat. I'm uh, going to layer up some coats on that. I'm not fussed about it being a hard, shiny finish, just a hard finish, just so the silver is protected and the red is protected below that. Um, so, yeah, let's get clearing.
Okay, I'm going to uh, dry and just whack on some more coats. Probably not even going to show you them in any more of the video. Uh, not really much point because you've seen me painting and stuff already. And painting's painting, isn't it? Okay, so because I haven't teased you enough with this and I've gone on about it for so long, here is the finished article. It's all done. And oh, look, I'm not showing you the other side. Will that make that into this video? <laughs> I don't know. Um, if it doesn't make it into this video, check Instagram. Uh, there will be stuff on my Instagram showing what this looks like on the bike before I do a full walk round of the bike. Sneak peek! Ha! <laughs> Teases! Um, I haven't even seen it yet. From just the little bits from the corners that I have seen, I think I am in love with myself. I mean, like, this is fucking awesome. Um, <laughs> I just hope it looks as good when I pull the whole thing off. Um, yep, stay tuned and uh, check my Instagram and you'll see more of this. Keep that vibe from down. Hey, no, you gotta keep that vibe. Rubber side down.